YouTube Bison here. I uh, just wanted to make a short video today on what I've been working on for the past month. Essentially, I have my Metabox uh, gaming laptop here. It's a few years old, so it's getting the hardware is getting a little bit outdated. So I wanted to experiment around with how I could. Essentially, I can't really change the CPU or GPU on it since it's a laptop and it's all been soldered in. But the cooling. So all laptops, as most of you know aren't the best at keeping themselves cool due to its small uh, I guess case around the uh, motherboard and just the small fans inside as compared to a normal desktop PC having the full case and maximum airflow I guess having the bigger fans so essentially I wanted to try and play around with the laptop uh, itself and then I've created this after a few months of designing it uh, drawing up some blueprints on Illustrator just thinking what I could do to be able to get water cooling for a laptop and I'll explain all that later in the video so let's get into it hey guys so first of all let's get into what I've done to the laptop in terms of airflow because I've made a bit of a change to it just take all this out so I can show you guys okay so this is my laptop and yeah I've kind of um butchered it a little bit but anyway, I've, the changes I've made has actually increased. It's, uh, you know, the, the degrees have come down quite a substantial amount. So it's actually been pretty cool. So what I've done is, just just today, I've opened this whole thing up. And I'll explain why due to this, um, you know, cooling circuit. Anyway. Okay, so we have CPU, GPU. Uh, GPU cooling fan and the CPU cooling fan so before I've done all these uh, cuts and stuff air was being taken straight through here over the hot motherboard and then used to cool down uh, the radiator I guess for the um, CPU and the GPU so what I've done is using my cooling pad as well and air from straight from the window outside which is obviously much cooler than the inside room temperature. Direct the air up underneath the board straight through the uh, fan and out the radiator, which has made cooling a lot more efficient. Um, instead of pulling hot, uh, you know, air from outside into here, it would obviously heat up. Then it would go into the fan, and they would use the hot air to try and cool down uh, the fins, which obviously isn't very efficient. So I've made cold air go directly into the fan, directly out and that's brought the idle temperature down like 20 degrees so it's actually been pretty incredible and just opened up the vents down the bottom here just for increased airflow over the rest of the motherboard so I've done these modifications and it's actually been quite incredible the amount of um, temperature drop I've got while I'm um, doing benchmarks and stuff like that however I haven't really seen this done before but I wanted to try and put an external water cooling system uh, into a laptop and so how I've done this is come up with this idea here so I've got essentially heat sink that goes over the CPU and the GPU um, over the heat pipes here I don't know how efficient it really is it's taking the heat from here but it's obviously taking some heat load off the fans so um, gave it a go anyway just for an experiment's sake anyway really just to see how this would work. Anyway, this is my heatsink here. I got my radiator here, 240mm radiator with two EBM 240V um, axial fans. These are used in um, refrigeration, so by trade I work in refrigeration and I wanted to use some like commercial grade fans instead of just the 12 volt PC fans. So this have much higher RPM and higher airflow than um, conventional PC fans that you would put in your PC so I wanted to give this a try um, this is just a 240mm radiator off eBay that I got pretty cheap but it's um the fans fit on perfectly so it was kind of um pretty lucky that that happened anyway so I got this is the app that controls the whole system so I've got an app to turn it on and off and I'll show that later but first of all just go underneath here just get some light okay 
So this is my water reservoir, a bit over the top, but um, yeah, there's quite a little bit of water in there. Also got my 240 volt pump. Um, currently this is rated for 2,400 litres per hour. But um, yep, yeah, so that's my reservoir. That's the pump in there. And this is all the wiring I did myself. Some, some junction boxes, so they all run off the same circuit, so the fans and pump run together. Um, that's the pump. That's the fan line. This is the main cord that goes to a Wi-Fi controlled uh, plug. So that's how I can control it with my phone. Just got that from Bunnings. Um, here is where I connected the the fan line, like cables, to the um, just the you know the other lead I got from the hardware store. Just connected in there with BPs, and then obviously I just got to keep it safe since it's 240 and it is drawing amps um, in these little circular junction boxes. So yeah, so that's the reservoir. That's the pump. Um, I guess all the water in here is probably at room temperature. Just feel, yeah, it's it's just at room temperature, so it's cool. Not necessarily cold, but it's cool anyway. So for this to be more efficient than a PC kind of deal, I'm taking air straight from outside, which is a lot colder. Um, it's winter at the moment, and this night time, so yeah, the air is a lot colder. And then I'm pulling, so it's induced draft through this radiator, um, which is the most efficient way of pulling air through a radiator. And then, yeah, this is the aluminium um, heat sink I got off YouTube as well. Sorry, not YouTube, um, eBay. Um, and then these are just some aluminium plates to, so it can sit inside the, um, the laptop's case in this little section here. So yeah, it looks okay. So let me turn on. So I just click this button here. That turns on the fans and the pump underneath the table. So this was hot before. This should cool down. The little heatsink inside itself cools down straight away. It just takes a little bit for these um, heat plates on top cool down but yeah it will get there so essentially this will cool down to the outside air temperature and then that will sit on top of the um, heat pipes here for the GPU and the CPU and just taking a little bit of that heat off um, before it goes to the fans and then the fan do the rest of the cooling um, so yeah so this is just cooling down it's getting pretty cold now actually it feels a lot colder yeah, so if outside air temp essentially, but yeah, it's really efficient at taking heat away as you when you hold it. So yeah, that's it in there. I don't know, just a little bit of an experiment, and it works pretty good. I've been getting like um, 20 degrees difference in its like idle temperature, and it's a lot more efficient when gaming, when cooling. I can turn this um cooling pad on as well just to help um, air flow from underneath the PC as well to go directly to the fans. But uh, yeah, let's get this all set up properly. Um, laptop on top of the heatsink and show some temperatures. Okay, now we have everything running. Cooling system is running. Now we can just go into the software on the computer. And we can ramp up the computer fans to maximum. So we've got the cooling pad on, computer fans on max. We've got our external cooling system running as well. And okay, normally this would run at about uh, 60 degrees idle. So we just adjust power consumption to there. And we we'll just watch the temperatures come down. So before I did all the modifications, this would run at CPU temp about 65 GPU about the same and at the moment we got 40 degrees 43 it takes a little bit for it to come down just to for this to you know if you start cooling properly
get all the water in that um, reservoir down to temp, um, which obviously takes a little bit. But um, I'll put a photo of the lowest temp I've got on the computer, which is, I think, I can check. Yeah, it's on my phone. I'll just put it up over the screen. You see the temperature is stable, but they're also coming down a little bit. But yeah, it's just an experiment. Just want to, you know, I don't think something this, I don't know, stupid really has been done before. I just wanted to give it a try. Just, um, you know, do something in my spare time, make this water system. But yeah, uh, it's been fun to plan and build, and I hope you guys like it and get some ideas for yourself. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.